What's up, y'all? This is Judge Truly Namana Mara, and what am I about to do? I'm about to watch the latest episode of Power. Now, I know you're probably thinking, hey, Mara, you ain't do an episode last week, but when you really think about it, did I need one? <sighs> Why? Well, I didn't think episode 12 was that bad. It was just kind of useless. Everything Paz learned, we kind of already knew. So, yeah, it was a couple good points. We saw like a little. A little piece of Ramona we never seen before, and that's something to watch. But besides that, eh, boom. Um, so, and we also saw a ghost change this one. Anyway, stuff that, nothing major. But hopefully with this new episode, episode 13, uh, it's all your fault. We learned some interesting things. Alisa Marie is apparently making her appearance back on this episode with that USB from her pops. Or I'd be proct. I forgot all about that. But anyways, let's check out the episode, and I'll tell you what I thought right after this. What's up, y'all? Sometimes in life, you get what you deserve. And we deserved. We deserved that episode of Power. Man, that was one of the best episodes of Power I've seen in a very long time. I think what helped it out a lot was we had a character that we actually cared about. Um, Dre, Dre's was okay. Um, Paz, we didn't care about it at all, but Tommy is one of the main characters of the show. And we were invested with Tommy from day one. Season one, episode one. So to kind of just see his journey through all the things that happened. Just was kind of coming to light moment. And you, we saw Tommy have a coming to light moment. Like, he built up, I mean, partially it was a ghost fault. Built up a lot of hate for ghosts only to kind of find out that, like, a lot of the stuff he thought ghosts did, he didn't do. Um, and you kind of saw him wanting to protect his brother back. Like, Ghost, him and Ghost had one scene where he was, um, and it was a scene that the, when they got shot at. And he was uh, telling him, like, I ain't do all this stuff. I, I realized I didn't do that. Like, well, he told him, uh, what's the scene? Oh, the courtyard. And he told him that he realized he didn't kill Akeisha. And he started figuring out all this other stuff. And Ghost was like, Tommy, you need me. And I think in this episode, we saw that Tommy, for, I think for the first time, he felt that Ghost needed him. Ultimately, uh, he kind of let him down because he didn't make it there in time. But you just kind of see him like just the brotherhood return. Like we had saw the brotherhood go away. And we kind of saw a return in this episode. Um, I think the star of the show of this episode was by far Elisa Marie. Um, that girl deserves. Uh, she deserves something. I don't, I don't know because she just did a great job. Like even when she was on like the the few parts during like the regular season, and every time she's been on the show, she's made like an impact. But you saw like she was a heavy main character in this episode, and I think what was great about it, it was kind of took us away from the Dre episode and the Paz episode. Is with Dre, we never seen his mama or his baby mama. And with Paz, we barely saw her. And we didn't know her her son and the daddy. We didn't know about none of that. But we knew about Elisa Marie. Um, and just kind of seeing their interactions. Just seeing, like, she did a great job. Um, I wouldn't mind seeing, like, a, a show with Elisa Marie maybe growing up a little bit with Auntie Dolores and seeing that crime family. I wouldn't mind that being one of the chapters of Power because I think she does a really good job. Every time she gets on the screen, like she was captivating every time she got on there uh, at such a young age. So kudos to her. I really liked Aunt Dolores. I just kind of like that vibe. A show would be something different, but I wouldn't mind seeing seeing that, man. Um, but yeah, we definitely going to do the Big Rich Town podcast this week because it's a lot of stuff that I loved about this episode. Um, Tasha could have, Tasha almost got... God, remember we said she left that earring. We knew that earring was left. And it just a matter. Like, this was a good callback episode where you call back stuff of importance. I'm so glad she had that opportunity. Like, that that Tommy was going to put it in her life. And he spared her. Tasha, you did a, hor Tasha, you, you did a horrible job of trying to save yourself. Like, it wasn't convincing at all. Like, it just... We could have acted a little better right there, uh, Latoria, but we'll let you slide. Um, Tyreek, you're the worst person on this show. Like, 
when, when and if you die on this show, I'm not going to be an ounce of sad. Like, Tommy has way more reasons to hate your dad. Way more reasons. And somehow he figured out, like, like, kind of, in a sense, Tommy had a, like, a, it is a little bit my fault that I don't have the stuff that I necessarily want and stuff like that. Like, because Ghost is kind of telling him, like, oh, Tommy, you could be all, basically, Ghost is telling him, Tommy, you be blaming me when it's your fault, like, that you don't have some of the stuff that you, and he kind of hit Tommy, and he kind of realized that. And all this, like, the stuff that kind of pushed him over the edge with Ghost, he realized Ghost ain't really even have a part in it. So... And, and he was trying to tell Tyreek that. And Tyreek, for some reason, still hated, hates this man. And maybe we're going to get like a deeper story in Tyreek's solo episode because it's coming. Um, it's probably going to be the last episode, but it's coming. Because I'm getting a, a sax episode for this next one. I'm getting a vibe. Um, but yeah, Tyreek even called Vincent. And told him where Tommy was going. And Tommy ended up getting out of it. But still, like, Tariq is the worst. And and hopefully, Power gives us the satisfaction in this last episode of, of us getting rid of him. Because we don't want to see him in another so, show. So, yeah. Um, two things before I get out of here. And, again, we're going to do the Big Rich Time podcast uh, to get in more detail. So, look on, be on the lookout for that this week. Um, probably Wednesday. I'm hopeful Wednesday. But number one, um, well, three things real quick. Number one, Tommy, a spinoff in California. I'm here for it. I think we all have been kind of banking on it. And my new theory on that is, and the second thing I'm going to say isn't true, all right? Um, my first theory is, uh, Tommy, if Tommy gets the spinoff, Tommy is going to be Ghost. Like, Tommy is going to take the mantle of Ghost in a new city. Instead of being Tommy Egan, he's going to go by Ghost in Power Book 2. I think that would be small for him. Um, nobody really knows about Ghost in Cali. So, him to take that mantle, I think it would be good. And then with, like, Mary J. Blige being into it, it feels like something new. So I'm guessing it might be a Cali thing, which means Tommy is going to get the spinoff. And I think I'll still watch that. I'll still watch Tommy in a new environment in Cali, different scene, different bosses. I will watch Tommy in Cali. So I'm intrigued if that happens and he takes the mantle of Ghost. Number two, um, who shot Ghost? Uh, it's out of Tariq, Tasha, Sax, and um, Lorenz Tate. Uh, I think Tyreek didn't shoot him because it was too, um, too, too, it would be too obvious that he shot him, but who knows? I think it's going to be out of, I think it's going to be sex. I'm going to go with sex, but next episode might be sex. So it can't be sex. So it's probably going to be Tasha. Well, next episode might be Tate's. I think it's sex or um I think it's sex or Tommy Tommy don't have no real relationship with. He would have shot Tate. I'm not sure who it is. I don't think it's Tyreek though, so it gotta be sex or Tasha. I'm gonna go with sex right now, but subject to change on the podcast. Um and number three, is Ghost really dead? I kinda got sad in that scene when I saw him like it felt real. It felt really real. Like that ghost is really gone. And I think they kind of want us to believe it. But the small percentage in me, small percentage in me is just kind of not believing it just yet. Because it's still who shot ghost and not who killed ghosts. We could have been switched it to who killed ghosts by now. Um, and maybe they're trying to drag it out because ghost is the major part of like the show. But I don't know, like, small part of me think he not dead. And I think it got more, that it was this big, and now it's this big. And it might close it to this small next episode. And I'm sure Courtney, I know Courtney Kimber said Ghost is dead. But I don't know. I just don't know. 
But we'll have more. Me and Natalie will have more on the This Is um, a Big Rich Town podcast. I thoroughly, I thoroughly enjoyed this episode. Thank you. P.S. Um, I thought it was really nice. If Ghost is really dead, I thought that was a great decision to let Tommy be the one that, like, they be there with him when he go out. Heartfelt moment, man. I almost dropped a little tear. But I didn't because I don't know if he did or not. 